Lake Victoria, Africa's largest lake, is under attack by water hyacinth, an invasive weed that has negatively impacted its ecosystem by preventing aquatic life from accessing adequate sunlight. In Kenya, one company is plucking the hyacinth from the lake and using it to make cleaner energy for cooking. Yeah, to some people, they see, they see hyacinth as a curse, but uh, I think it's just a matter of uh, enlightening, sensitizing them on what, what, uh, what's the importance of of hyacinth in Lake Victoria, because to us, we understand that it's really cleaning the water. So we don't need to look at it at a curse. We need to look at it at a, as a, a, an opportunity that we can use it to do, we can do uh, biogas, it can do uh, making papers, it can do making of chairs and furnitures. Workers harvest the plants with their bare hands, then grind them into a machine to produce a mixture that's then fed to biogas digesters. In Kenya, just as in Uganda and Tanzania, the other countries which share the lake, many families depend on wood fuel to cook, which has been blamed for driving deforestation and climate change. In Africa, upwards of 70 to 80 percent of the population of sub-Sahara uh, use wood fuel. Yet we've got these invasive species all around us. So when we cut down our trees for charcoal or for firewood, we are reducing the carbon sink. At a market in the city of Kisumu, Josephine Ajambo uses biogas made from water hyacinths to fry her fish. She says it is a cheaper and cleaner option compared to firewood. I like to use biogas because it does not emit soot. That makes my utensils dirty. It also does not emit smoke that would cause health problems. Ajambo's colleague Esther is still stuck with wood fuel though, citing the high cost of biogas. We would like to use biogas, but it is not readily available, and that is why I'm still using firewood. If they make it readily available, we will switch because it is cheaper. It costs about $650 to install a biogas digester, a cost many Kenyans find prohibitive.